Okay, hey, <laughs> this is Tammy with Lippin' Furniture and my better half, Greg. He just begged me to come into a live video tonight, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna play with transfers real quick just to show you how easy they are. <clears throat> he has never done one before. So, I'm gonna cut him out one. Oh shoot, I don't I don't even know the name of this one. I wanna say it's Farm Animals. This is one of the pages of it. It's got a horse and cows at the bottom. So I'm gonna have him do the cows and, or a cow. We're just playing with scrap lumber tonight. These are just from um, leftover scraps. Thanks Dana for the stars again. Uh, two by fours, scraps. So we're gonna play with those. And I have some over here too, but I'm gonna get his cut out. Hey, Joni. That's our Joni. Hi, Joni. Oh, he's pretending to be <clears throat> shy on here. So I'm gonna cut him out a cow. Oh, and it's a jersey. In case you don't know, we have a jersey. But, uh, and she has the baby named Henry, in case you're. In case you're up to date on all our comings and goings. Well, hello, Renee. Hello, Nikki. This one's called Farm Life, by the oh, way. Oh, it is called Farm Life if you're looking for it. But we'll have you put that on there. We'll probably have to lower the screen here in a little bit, too. Um, it's actually got all kinds of different things, behaviors. That one all fit. I think we'll make do with what's on there. I think that'll be just fine. Okay, so that's all he's going to have to do for his. Hello, Diane again. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Jan again. Hey, Perusa. I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, let's rock it down here. Hey, Jackie. Okay, here we go. Um, you've got two pieces to put on yours. See, let me get mine figured out what I'm going to do with it. There's your stick. Oh, there's a backup for you to do too. Now I'll show you one that we, what we, <laughs> that I did earlier. Hey, Betty. This is again just a two by four scrap piece of lumber with a butterfly on it, and I distressed it. So I think it's super cute. So I thought we'd pop on and do a little bit more. Did you turn the heat up in here? My goodness, it's getting hot. Okay. Hey, Jamie. Okay, so he's going to do the cow. I should have figured out what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do a bird. Maybe off of here. Well, see, I could do that part of that bird there. And these are all leftover scraps that I have from this or that. And we're going to get them used up. Some of them anyway. I know, I love that butterfly too. I think it turned out so cute. Okay. Oh, that one, okay. Hmm. Well, that's not gonna work either. Doggone it. Okay, well, I have plenty of scraps here, but actually I think I'm gonna go with the cow. <laughs> no, that's gonna be yours. Oh my gosh, yes, I just hit him. Okay. Oh no, they're saying the video froze. No, it's fine on okay. my phone. Okay, well, I can't believe that didn't stick. I got lucky. So if we put this on here and then we can finish off our bird. Okay. What are you doing? He's oh. <laughs> got paint on him and he's not even painting. Any hoozle. Let's go for it. I'm going to put on the top of my burr here real quick. Okay. And I want some of that yummy script around there. And then I need... Oh, they're not in there. Never mind. Um, my sticks. Do you see my sticks over there, Courtney? I know, but you're going to need one too. Okay, we got sticks. Okay, so this is all you do, babe. You hold on to the plastic. Yeah, don't you have to take the back off? Well, yeah. You want to 
Well, but I just thought you'd want to watch first. But if you don't, I'll that's fine too. It. Okay. I'm going to say this is not rocket science. And I actually try to hold it closer to the end so you don't break the stick. Press on the very tip. I've broken my share of sticks. Careful with that drawer there. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. So there's my little bird part of him. Ooh, part of a floral there that I didn't want. <clears throat> so I take this off, right? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, hold on. I was wanting to finish my bird here real quick. Or at least get him before I forget what I'm doing. Oh, I don't think that's even the same bird, but we're going to pretend it is. I'm going to cut its head off. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead. Greg has taken off the backing. So like I said, several of you guys have asked about um, beginner transfers. He's taken the backing off like I'm doing. Put it down like that. I would go a little that way, yeah. Yeah, or maybe come down and make sure the head doesn't go off your board. I'm good. I think so. Go like that? Yep. Smooth it out. Put my finger at the end. Yep. And rub. And rub. Don't hold a good man down. He's ready to go, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's never seen me do this a million times, but... Very gentle. He's not normally very gentle by nature, so. Is that good enough? That's looking good. Go peel it. No, nope, go slowly. Make sure it's all adhered. Yep, so far so good. Can you guys see what he's doing? I think so. Mm -hmm. Looking good. And you can actually, I mean, you're doing good. But sometimes I go like that just to make sure it keeps going, but I think you got her. And then you have that little sprig of grass you can put over here too. But it's not going to, do I, uh... Yep, just, yeah, just have it hang down a little bit. Put it right there then? Yep. This looks better than mine. What do you think of that? I think it's awesome. Is anybody else holding their breath? <laughs> Hello, Karen from the UK. You go, boy. I am just adding a little more script because you know, it's never enough for me. Okay, peel it off. What do I do with this down here? Cut it off? Yeah. What, now or after? Now. With this big scissor? Sure. Can you even use those? Apparently. These are my scrapbooking scissors from years and years ago. I think all my other scissors are in the other room from the weekend. Okay, so I pull. Yep, it's looking good. How's that? Looks good. Hold it up and show them what you've done. <laughs> Mine looks like a hot mess. Okay, I'm going to zhuzh mine up a little bit with a little more script, I think. You're out of camera. I'm out of camera? Oh, oh I'm fine. Right. Okay. So what else do we do with this? I, oh, you think it needs something around the you edges? Put black around it or something? I would honestly it. take the distressor, the uh, little um, sander over there. <laughs> this? Yep, and rough up the edges, babe. Just go like it? Yep. I'm gonna keep messing with mine and like that. Not that good. Oh, oh, that's showing the green paint I had on below there. That's fine too. But yeah, you can go harder than that. <laughs> hey, 
Angie. I put the link in for the shop. People were asking for the okay. where to get this stuff. <laughs> Jane says nice, looks good, Mr. Tammy. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've done a Facebook Live together. The last one he did stenciling. But I just wanted to prove how easy these um, transfers really are. Because somebody, like I said, some people have been asking for beginner transfers. He's, he's seen me do them a million times, but he's never done one. More. Looks awesome. No, I mean, if you want to, if you want to get down to raw wood, that's fine. If you like it where it's at, leave it. And then I'm going to finish this up a little bit. I'm going to add a butterfly yet. Well, it looks kind of weird with the butterfly being huge, but that's okay. We're just playing. We're not really here for, um, <laughs> Lori Cochran says you're doing good. Thanks. Okay. I'm just going to put this on there. It's just for fun. Just using up the extra scraps. And if you have grandkids, I mean, if you absolutely are not going to use your scraps, your grandkids sure would. Scrap lumber, scrap transfers. They'll have a heyday, I promise. Oh, and like I said, that little butterfly, I thought turned out so cute today. Because I was like, oh, I'll just do these on a live tomorrow, and I couldn't stop myself. I had to get started. Oops. Get off there. Um, do you see my other transfer tool? That's all right. I'm about done anyway. <laughs> Jamie says, holy cow, Greg. <laughs> Shelly's husband, Jason, says, good job, Greg. <laughs> Thanks. You guys are next. <laughs> Shelly and Jason. It's just as soon as you let her do her um, dishwasher door. <laughs> what do I do with this? Oh, I thought you could do a butterfly on that if you want to. If you want to do another one. I know you do. Don't act like you don't. Let's see. Do we have... Like I said, these are just, like I said, the smallest scraps. Um, that one might be cute on there. Do you have a favorite? No. no. <laughs> I didn't figure you did. I'll cut it up. Oh, he's going to cut his own. So which one am I doing? I don't know. This one or this one? This one. Would fit one. nice. What's this right here? What's that little thing? Um, just ignore it. That's another transfer that got stuck to it, I think. <clears throat> so I think mine is fairly well done. I think I'm going to try to distress it a little. The center? Yeah. Am I in camera? Yeah. I am just distressing it a little around the edges. So get the raw wood to come back through there. Hopefully, you, yeah, you can see that a little bit. Okay, so you can see how that's looking. Um, let me see what I have in here. I don't have any SFO in here, do I? Oh, I do. We're going to try this um, Fusion SFO on here for these mainly for the um around there <laughs> he's amazing betty i know uh, uh, betty i know yeah hi betty it's our betty those scissors are small in my hands even but yes greg has big huge beefy mitts <laughs> nikki's watching and shopping <laughs> well shop away <laughs> um okay so I'm going to take a little bit. This is just Fusion's FSO, or SFO, I mean. And I have distressed this, but it's, you can't see the way, it doesn't look that good to me. So I'm going to add some of this stain to it, especially where, where the wood was raw. Just to darken that. It didn't darken it a lot, but just enough for me. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put it all over it. It'll just give it a nice little, 
you know, if you watch me at all, you know I like to brown it down. So we're just going to age it a little. So mine don't need aged? We can. Do you want to age yours? Would it make it look beautiful? It might. Okay, so there's mine. It is done. Funky bird. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's two birds in one. <laughs> okay. What do I do with that? Um, I would sand your edges again. And actually, I would even sand your butterfly lightly. Do the corners first? Sure. Thank you, Jane. Ooh, and look how pretty the stain is on my popsicle stick. I think I'm going to be using that on my side table that I was working on tonight for myself. Is that good? Yeah. And did you did you do the butterfly? Oh no, just slightly. Yeah, lightly. I don't want you to rub the whole thing off, but it would be hard to do. But if anybody could do it, he could. Trust me. Okay. Oh yeah, that's looking good. If you can see what he did, it's got a distressed look to it now. And then we're going to go ahead and age it. And just so you know, all these things we're doing here, you can do all this on furniture. People give me crap all the time. I never see you doing furniture. Well, it's hard to do furniture on camera, but everything I'm doing on here, you can do. You want that? He's just going to wipe smear that on all over. You just like, like Start with the edges, I guess, like I did. Let it uh, soak in there a little bit. Make sure you're up in the camera. You're doing good. You're fine. And hopefully you can kind of see, we'll hold it up before you go any further. Yeah. See the brown around the edges? He's getting ready to put that all over. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and rub it all over now. Might be easy if you lay it down and hold on to it. There you go. Is that good? Um, if you look at it, and this is something you look at it from the side view, make sure you can make sure it's all covered. I think it is. I think that looks good. And this SFO is stain and finishing oil all in one, so it is the finish too. So we're done with it. So that's it. That's just our little our little live tutorial with us. Oh, let's, why don't you go ahead and brown that one down, too? I think that one will look more. Are you the same spot? Yeah. Just like that? Yep. Good enough? Yep. Do the corner edges first? Sure. I don't know that they'll really show up because it's got green paint, but... Because this was actually painted Bayberry first, and I was afraid nothing was going to show up too good. Actually, that cow would have shown up on Bayberry, but I didn't know what I was doing yet. Mr. Tatum is a fast learner. He did great. I agree. Like I said, he now, was just begging me to come live with me, so I just took had a lot to. of convincing. It really did. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Like I said, for me, it's easier to lay it down and then smear it off, but whatever's more comfortable for you. Good. Yeah, I would hit it. Uh, it's a little heavy on this side. Just make sure you don't have any excess. There you go. And I think we're done. I think that's it. Greg did a butterfly. And a cow. And a cow. And I'm actually going to use this SFO on my butterfly for this afternoon. I actually just used a glaze, and a glaze is just not dark enough for me. So we'll see if this does any. I don't know if it'll do a whole lot after the fact. Yeah, it's a little darker. Not doing a whole lot for it, but. Okay, so anyway, that was mine. Betty likes your haircut, babe. <laughs> I needed it terrible. Um, okay, that was yours. Okay, your cow. Obviously, it's got to dry. And you know, if that were me, I'd probably run some script over it somewhere. We maybe should have done that, but. I like it like it is too. And then, was that it? Oh, I did mine. <laughs> I did my uh, bird of two bodies there and, a, and some other stuff there. But So anyway, like I said, this is just using scrap lumber and scraps, you know, leftovers from your transfers. 
So nothing too exciting. There's Trisha. Great job, Greg. Awesome watching both of you create. <laughs> Shelly says Yahoo. Great job, you two. Okay. Karen says love them all. Okay, I think that's it for us. We just popped in. Get down here. <laughs> I'm bossy. So anyway, that's it. We just thought we'd pop in. How's Henry? Henry's doing well. Um, you've been locking him up at nights because it's been getting colder again, just as an extra precautionary because he's a, you know, he's a little mini, so. I did leave it out tonight. Oh, you it's did? No, it's supposed to be quite as Oh, yeah. Cold. Okay. So, yeah, it, Henry's doing, doing well. If you didn't know any different, you wouldn't even think it was a miniature. Yeah. The twins that we had are smaller than he is. They they are, I you would almost swear that they yeah. are minis. Yeah. But, but thanks for asking. So, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. That's all. We'll see you later. Have a good night.